See, what I do here is I take three different items, I put them on one plate together. My name is Shane Henderson. I'm the uh, executive chef here at Benny Kid Foods. Uh, what we're going to do today is a uh, butter poached shrimp, sauce called a gumbos of herbs. Z herbs gumbo. Z Z herbs? Zerbs. Zerbs. We're going to serve it up with a little naughty rice. Why is it naughty? It's not as dirty as dirty rice, but it's getting there. The main ingredient to any delicious dish is bacon. It's more of a four man's gumbo. Uh, so instead of it being a lot of meat involved, this one's mostly uh, things that were cheap, greens and some herbs. What we got here is a little cut up on Dewey. So we're gonna get more of a Cajun mirepoix going, usually a, a real mirepoix is carrot, celery, onion. We're gonna do celery, green bell peppers, and onion. So there's our onions, there's our bell pepper. We're gonna make more of a, what we refer to as a roux brune, which means brown, or a roux blonde, which is white. So you can see from that little bit of flour I've added in here, it's kind of started thickening up all that liquid that was in there before, all that beautiful pork fat starting to disappear. So what we've got working now is our roux blonde. So we're gonna go ahead and deglaze the pan with just a little bit of white wine. You can see already, see how that's thickened up? It doesn't look like white wine at all. So we're gonna put that back down. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let this get started wilted. And we're gonna put a little chicken stock in there. Some dry herbs. Later on, I'm gonna add some fresh herbs. You had dry herbs in earlier, so you get all the oils out of them. You add the fresh herbs in later because they come out of the, the oils come out of it a lot faster. So we're gonna take about half of this head of cabbage. Now we've got a lot of green onions. I'm gonna go ahead and dump those in there. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna start the dirty rice, or the naughty rice. So usually uh, dirty rice is made with pork and uh, pork liver. Instead, I'm, I'm calling it naughty rice because I'm gonna use a little bit of chicken livers and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna put, I've got about one pork chop worth of a loin. I like to use this because it's not that fatty in here, so we're gonna get a nice flavor, but it's got the nice fat around the outside of it. So it's gonna, fat is delicious. It's just fat. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dice this down so you get a little bit of that into it. So we've got our oil nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add just a little bit of this to it. We want that start getting a little bit of color, and then we're going to add the chicken livers to it. We're going to take a little bit of celery, half an onion. Now we're going to hit that up with that pepper, onion, celery mixture. Some nice parsley. It's called arborio rice, and you probably have heard of it used for our risotto. Risotto is really more of a style of cooking than it is necessarily a rice. And for what I'm doing, it's a nice short grain rice that'll cook up nicely. Before I uh, add any liquid to this, I'm gonna toast the rice and add a little nice nutty flavor to it. We've added about twice as much liquid as we had rice. So I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cover on it, turn it off, and just let the liquid absorb naturally. So before I take this over and puree it, we're gonna add a little what's called gumbo filet into it. It's really just ground uh, sassafras root. Kinda helps act as a little thickener. And honestly, you can't have gumbo if you don't have sassafras. Oh, that smells delicious. So, now we've got our gumbo done. To make it more into a sauce than a real gumbo, uh, a lot of times if you saw this, it would be served just like it is now. I have reduced a little bit more of the liquid out of it, and I'm going to puree it and use it as a sauce. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on our butter poached shrimp. So I've got a pan, just turned it on. We're going to go ahead and start melting a little bit of butter. This is probably one of the easiest ways to cook shrimp, and 
not that many people do it. We've got the butter obviously melted with a little bit of the old bay and the bay leaves in there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to it just to give us a little poaching liquid that will hopefully help it not to burn. And dump it in there. As long as you've got enough butter to cover the shrimp, everything will work. The nice thing about this is you can actually cook them a little longer than you should. And since it's cooked to butter, they're still gonna taste delicious. This is about what they should look like. We've lost a little bit of size on them, but they're nice and opaque. Touch them and they have a little bit of gift to them, but not too much. We've got our knotty rice done. We're gonna add just some parsley and a little bit more green onions in there, get a little color. And knotty rice with gumbos of herbs and butter poached shrimp match your next course.